Hello and welcome to the Archie Luxury Luxury Channel. Today I want to talk about why my Patek Philippe is absolutely perfect for me. And uh, for those of you who don't know, I've made a couple, well I've actually made quite a few videos about my Patek and it's really affected me. The Patek, you know, I've been a watch enthusiast, collector ever since I was a kid. You know, I've loved a fine watch and I've had the horological struggle where you know I uh, I saved all my money I thought Seiko was a good brand then I got an Omega um, and then you know when I turned 18 I wanted a Rolex and then I went on that horological discovery journey where I discovered the Holy Trinity and the best brand of all time being Patek Philippe and uh, you know as soon as you understand what a Patek Philippe is you need to have one it's sort of an aim and uh, I've got to say you know Archie Luxuries had a good life I had a, uh, a brand new BMW at, at uh, just before I turned 19 I was still 18 when I got a, a brand new 3 Series. This was 20 years ago, or over 20 years ago. And, um, you know, I've had a lot of good things happen to me, but, you know, a car is a car, a watch is a watch, and a watch is something you can savour and enjoy. You can't really easily put a car into storage. You know, you've got continual running costs, maintenance, rego insurance. Whereas a, a fine Swiss wristwatch, you can put away and bring out and savour. And I suppose that's really what I enjoy about my Patek Philippe. And, uh, you know, I went on a journey. It's not just an instant thing. You just don't suddenly discover that you want to protect Philippe Calatrava or you want this or you want that. It's the learning. It's appreciating what makes a fine wristwatch from compared to all that shopping center more mediocre fucking trash. And, uh, you know, that, that that's the journey. You know, you find out that mediocre brands like Tag Heuer and most Amigas are just pieces of fucking shit. You discover that the Bormann Mercer that your brother has bought is just a horological fucking, ob you know, obscurity. And uh, you, you discover why a brand like Patek is so special and so revered. And uh, it's been a while, you know, I've had a couple, it's not just the first Patek, this is, I've had a couple of Pateks and... Uh, Maybe I haven't, you know, I, I've, I was always a trader, you know, I'm, I'm really middle class Archie. I'm not, I wasn't born, you know, someone said to me, Paul, you were, you've got a, a gold plated spoon in your mouth, you know, and that's the thing. I've, uh, I've got a taste for expensive things, but unfortunately Archie's had to work for all his money. He didn't um, get any inheritance or gifts or things like that there at, um, Archie's had to pretty well earn or trade to get those pieces himself and uh, that's a journey and I've got to say this with Patek Philippe you know it's a brand you know obviously you know when you start off in watch collecting you think the solid gold Rolex is the be all and end all then you realize hey the movement's not that great and this isn't that great and you start to appreciate what makes a wristwatch so special and for me I've got to say this now that I've owned my Patek Philippe Calatrava for over two years it is me to a T it's Archie luxury at his best and uh, you know I, I think that I, I, I've just I just appreciate everything about it for me, the white gold metal, now it's very hard because I'm a trader, buy and sell, everything needs to be bought second hand. White gold is pretty hard to come by because, you know, it's mainly yellow gold. There's not a lot of white gold pieces readily available. And for me, the Grand Tourley, the Calatrava that I've got, which is a 5107, it kind of just fell into my lap at the right time. It's one thing to have an eye 
for beautiful things. It's another thing to have the money in place to make that dream become a reality. And uh, I had a small inheritance come my way and I, I had a small collection and I, I sold a few pieces off, put some money in from the inheritance and I started the journey. I got a my Patek 5107 Calatrava. 5107 is the model, Calatrava is the model as well and um, it's also it's a grand tourley. It's for Patek, it's 37 mils across, excluding the crown, and that's quite big for a Patek. It's got the most, it's a beautiful three hand watch, and it's got the most gorgeous date system there in it. It's got the beautiful display back with the 315 SC movement. And uh, I, I hummed and hard, what watch should I get, what watch should I get, and um, I was thinking get a President, get a Daytona, but no, the Patek won out, and I've got to say, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, it's now been two years, and uh, I've had other things come across my way, I had a, uh, a very beautiful um, 5127 in yellow gold, that's the, the next model in yellow gold with a bracelet, I could have upgraded to and I thought no I prefer the white I'm content and I've also had other beautiful pieces I had a solid gold submariner and then I realized the type of people who like that type of watch that's not really what I really want to to be in life so the it's it's been a it's been a learning curve and uh, for Archie you know it's something you've got to you've got to really take in your stride but I've got to say this in all honesty, I love my Patek Calatrava 5107. I think it's a great watch. It's a watch that I um, I am savouring and enjoying and you know even it's a very expensive watch but uh, even when I, I don't have it because I, I do you know I don't want to keep all my watches at home. I'm very scared of security and that there particularly with Archie's profile. So a lot of my, I should say, all my watches that I, I, uh, I don't wear, they're actually in the bank safe. So I've, uh, I've got to make a journey to, to get them out. And uh, at the moment, my Patek is in the bank safe. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about taking it out for Christmas. And uh, it's just a, it, it, it's, it's, what makes me so happy with the Patek is just that I, I think it's a perfect watch. I mean, the 5107, I do like the Calatrava, but I like the more 60s style of the 5107. It's got the, the legs which are uh, on the Calatrava, very unusual for the Calatrava. So I really do like the way the, the shoulders are there. And I absolutely adore the crown guard protectors. I think that's just, just a beautiful touch for a modern Patek. You know, it's vintagey and it's classy and it's got a history, but it's it's just so 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 beautiful. And um, I, I really, you know, you can look at these Pateks and you think, well, you know, ideally a a complicated Patek is is the best. But I've got to say, a simple Calatrava, three hand automatic Calatrava with a date. I think that's what I I like. I I my first luxury, my true first luxury watch being a Rolex 1016 Explorer One. It's got the classic, you know, classic simplicity, and that's and that's probably what I've I've, I've adored in watches is 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 that just not over the top, not f in your face, and that's why white gold is such a great metal, and that's why in this piece here for me. I think the just a three hand with a date automatic movement is probably the best best choice for old Archie and uh, it's come full circle now now that I've owned it for a while I've enjoyed it and I've uh, savored it I have to say in all honesty I'll never sell it and that's a you know for a wheeler dealer like Archie that's a hard thing to say but no I've, I've come close a couple of times and um, I'm actually pleased it didn't go I'm really pleased because where would I find another one I know as soon as I sold my 5107 I'd be yearning for another one 
and being white gold there are so few white gold pieces that I've seen on the secondary market and um, I just think I'm really blessed that I haven't sold it for a profit I've kept it and uh, it's not for sale I, it's not not for sale at all I've had so many good enjoyable times with that watch and it's time for me to just confess up and say I love my Calatrava it's not for sale and uh, it, 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 it's, is it an exit watch for me? Well, I was having lunch with Justin, my good friend Justin, the other day, and um, unfortunately, I don't think any watch is an exit watch for me. I always, I always love, love watches and, you know, trying on iconic pieces and this and that, but the, the Calatrava for me makes me happy. I could walk into any environment wearing the Calatrava and I don't need to apologize, I don't need to big note myself, it's just, it is what it is. It's beautiful. I think it's, it's perfection and um, for me, you know, it's been a long journey. It's taken me many years to come to this point but I absolutely adore my Patek and it's it's who I am. It's Archie Luxury. Archie Luxury is the 5107 in white gold on the leather strap. That is Archie. And um, I've come to that realization after a long, long process. And um, yes, I am keeping the 5107 forever and it's never going to be sold. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you think. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.